today we're going to have a look at um, a web view with an activity indicator as you can see here and uh, four buttons uh, this activity indicator is kind of polite for the customer of your app to show when a web page is loaded so if you're interested watch the rest of the video so we'll make a single view app and I'm going to do it just for the iPhone and we get a storyboard coming up we need to put uh, one a web, a web view so let's find that I'll just drag view so we have a web view now we're going to drag in a toolbar at the top and we need to duplicate these buttons so I pr press command D four times. Now let's look for our activity indicator. Just uh, type it in the search. Oh, there it is. And we just tuck that in there. I'll leave it at its default color and other settings. Seems to work all right like that. Okay, now let's have a look at the view controller by clicking on this split view up here. And we need to drag in by pressing control an IB outlet for the activity indicator let's call and let's see we also need to assign these buttons so again press control down and then that can be go back stop loading change that to stop st now the next thing we need to do is um, assign timers and some code. Now the code looks like this. There we go. So let's put that timer in here. Declare it, timer variable. And we need an IB outlet for the web view. So let's scrape that in. Uh, let's call it webby. There we are. Now we need to go to the uh, M file and we have a, a did load method here which we're going to replace with the code I've already got and there's another cool method called uh, loading which we're going to use to tell us when the web view is loading a new page so I'm just going to actually put that code in let's take that out and then insert the code we've got okay now let's try running that and uh, we can reload it starts off again and then once it's reloaded stops 